Hi, welcome to the next Court Matters Revision video. So obviously we're doing the 100 days of the GCSE Maths exam and there's 92 days to go. And in terms of this GCSE Higher Revision video today, we're gonna to focus on the circumference and the arc length. So the circumference and arc length, I really like these topics. There's a nice little song. I don't know if you've seen on YouTube, me singing circumference is pi times diameter and area is pi r squared. But in terms of the circumference of a circle, obviously we're gonna be covering in this video how to find the circumference of a circle. If you've got the revision cards, cards number 14 will be useful for that. Card number 14 will be useful. And then obviously the arc length. So if you've got part of the circumference, that's called the arc length and or an arc, and you might need to find the length of that arc. So that'd be the arc length. And the revision card for that would be the uh, revision card number four for the arc length. And in this video, we're gonna go through how to find the circumference of a circle, how to find the perimeter of a semicircle and quarter circle and uh, shapes like that. And then also how to find the perimeter of sectors or that arc length. And we'll be looking at how to work those out. And then I'll give you some questions to try yourself. And then I'll talk about the practice questions. So. Let's get started. Okay, so today's video, we're gonna look at circumference. So the circumference of a circle is found by pi times diameter. So if we wanna find the circumference of a circle, we do circumference is pi times diameter, and that will give you the circumference of a circle. And if you feel happy with the circumference of a circle, feel free to pause the video now and to try this question and see if you get it right. So for instance, if we had this circle here where we've got a diameter of 14 centimeters, if we wanted to find the circumference, the distance around the outside of the circle, we would do the circumference equals pi times diameter. Now the diameter of the circle is 14, so we're gonna do pi times 14. And then we would get our calculator, and this is a calculator question. I'll show you a non-calculator question in a second. So on your calculator, you'd get the pi button up. So you'd press shift and then pi, and then you get that button up. And then you'd type in times 14, and then you'd press equals. And then your calculator would come up as 14 pi. And then if the question asks you to give it to so many decimal places, you would then change that into a decimal, and it would give you the answer of 43.982297715 and so on centimeters. And that would be the circumference of the circle. Now, if you're asked to give that to perhaps to two decimal places, then to two decimal places, the answer would be 43.9, and then we've got 8 two, so it'd be 0.98 centimeters to two decimal places. And that's it. So to find the circumference of a circle, you just do pi times diameter, and that gives you the circumference of a circle. Now, some teachers use the formula circumference equals 2 pi r. So instead of using pi times diameter, you may have seen this formula, which is circumference equals 2 times pi times the radius. And if you just think about it, if you double the radius, you get the diameter. So this formula is just the same as this one. Now, in this video, I'm going to be using circumference equals pi times diameter because that's my favorite formula. That's the one that I use, the, that's the one that I use a lot. Um, but if you want to use this version, feel free to. Okay, so now we've got a non-calculator question. So we've got a circle, and we've got the radius of the circle is 5 centimeters. And and the question says to find the circumference of the circle and to give your answer in terms of pi. So whenever you've got a non-calculator question, it'll often say give your answer in terms of pi. So again, we've got circumference equals pi times diameter. If you feel happy with this, feel free to give this question a shot now yourself and press pause and give it a try yourself. Alternatively, I'm about to go for it now. Okay, so to find the circumference of a circle, we do circumference is pi times diameter. So circumference equals pi times diameter. So the circumference of the circle is going to be found by doing pi multiplied by its diameter. Now in terms of the diameter of the circle, well the radius is 5 centimeters. Well if this distance is 5 centimeters, this side, this radius would be 5 centimeters as well. So it means the whole diameter of this circle would be 10 centimeters. So the diameter of the circle is 10 centimeters. So we've got circumference equals pi times diameter, well the diameter is 10. So we've got pi times 10, and then we're just going to put them together. Now whenever we put them together, we put the number of the 10 in the front of the pi, so the answer would be 10 pi centimeters. And that's it. And don't forget your units of centimeters. So in this question, we're asked to find the circumference of the circle and to give our answer in terms of pi. The answer would just be 10 pi centimeters. And that's it. So if you've got a non-calculator question, you just do pi times diameter and then you just leave it in terms of pi. So it'll be maybe 10 pi or 100 pi or 52 pi or something like that. Okay, so we've looked at how to find the circumference of a circle using pi times diameter. Now let's look at how to find the perimeter of a semicircle. Feel free to press pause and try it yourself. And in a second, I'm going to go through it. Okay, so we've got this semicircle, and if we want to find the perimeter of the semicircle, we need to find the length of the side. So we need to find the length of the space, and that's going to be quite straightforward. That's going to be six centimeters because the radius is three centimeters, so the whole way across would be six centimeters. But we also need to find the length of this arc. So this distance is going to round the top of the outside of the semicircle, so the length of that curved part, this arc. So to find the length of this arc, what we're going to do is we're going to consider the whole circle. So we're going to consider this whole circle, and we're going to find the circumference of the whole circle. So we're going to do circumference is pi times diameter. So if we do pi times diameter, we'll find the circumference of this whole circle. So the circumference equals pi times diameter. And the diameter of the circle will be, well, three and another three would be six centimeters. That would be the diameter of the whole circle would be six centimeters. So we're going to do pi multiplied by the diameter. So we're going to do pi multiplied by six. 
Now this is a calculator question, so I'm going to do pi multiplied by 6, and that would be 6 pi, and you could leave your answer in terms of that, you could leave it as 6 pi, or as a decimal number it would be 18.84955592 and so on centimeters. So that's the circumference of the whole circle. Now we don't want the circumference of the whole circle, we just want to find half of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this circumference and we're going to divide it by 2. So we're going to do 18.8495 and so on, or your 6 pi, if you wanted to use 6 pi. And then you're going to do divided by 2. And I've already got that in my calculator display, so I just need to press divided by 2 equals, and it gives me 3 pi, or 9.4247779 and so on centimeters. So that may, it sounds fantastic. We've now found the length of this arc. So we've found the distance from here all the way around to the other side here. That distance would be 9.4247779 and so on centimeters. So that's fantastic. So if we now just focus on the semicircle, so let's not focus on the whole circle anymore, we needed to find the length of the base and we needed to find the length of the arc. And we found those. The length of the base, the whole way across, would be 6 centimeters plus what we've just got in terms of the arc, which is 9.4247 and so on. Or if you've got 3 pi, feel free to use that. And then if you add them together, so 6 plus and then the 9 point so on I'm just gonna press the answer button and that gives me an answer of 15.4247779 and so on centimeters so that's fantastic so we've found the perimeter of that semicircle so the perimeter of that semicircle the three decimal places would be 15.425 centimeters and that's it now let's look at how to find the perimeter of a quarter circle so again if you feel happy with this topic feel free to pause the video now and to try this question now yourself Okay, so if I wanted to find the perimeter of this quarter circle, I would need to do 15 centimetres plus another 15 centimetres because it's a quarter circle. That would be the centre of the circle. That's the radius and that's the radius. So they're the same length as each other. And we need to add on the length of this arc from here around to here. Now that would be a quarter of the whole circumference of the whole circle. So let's consider the whole circle. So if we had a whole circle, like so, if we do pi times diameter, we can find the circumference of the whole circle. And then if we divide by 4, we can find the length of this arc. So let's do that. So the circumference of the whole circle, so circumference equals pi times diameter. So it's going to be pi multiplied by the diameter of the whole circle. So the diameter of the whole circle, we've got 15 plus another 15, would be 30 centimetres. So we're going to do pi multiplied by 30. And pi multiplied by 30, that's going to be 30 pi, or as a decimal number, 94.24777961 and so on centimetres. So that's the circumference of the whole circle. Now we're going to divide it by 4 to find the length of that arc. So we're going to take our 94.247 and so on, just leave it on your calculator display, and press divide by 4, and see what that's equal to. So divide by 4, and you get that's equal to 23.56194 and so on centimetres. So the distance from here around to here, this distance here, would be equal to 23.5619 and so on centimetres. So that's the length of the arc, and that's fantastic, because now we can do 15, plus 15, and plus the length of the arc, and that'll give us the perimeter of the quarter circle. So 23.56194 and so on, and we get that's equal to 53.56194 and so on centimeters. And if we're asked to give our answer to two decimal places, it would be 53.56 centimeters, and that's it. So that's the perimeter of that quarter circle. So we've looked at how to find the perimeter of a semicircle and a quarter circle, but what happens if the sector has an angle which isn't as nice as 90 degrees or 180 degrees, or for the angle, was 14 degrees for instance. So if you want to find the length of the arc, the formula to find the length of the arc would be Vita over 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by the diameter. In other words, Vita is the size of this angle, so it would be 14 over 360, so that's the fraction of the circle multiplied by the circumference of the circle. So in other words, you're working out the circumference of the circle and then you're just working out the fraction of it that you need to find the length of the arc. So that's it. So the formula to find the length of this arc is found by Vita over 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by the diameter, where Vita is the size of the angle and D is the diameter of the whole circle. And the question says, find the perimeter of this sector. So feel free to pause the video now to try this question now yourself. And just remember that whenever you're finding the perimeter, it's not just the arc length, it's the whole perimeter, okay? So to find the perimeter of this sector, well, we've got our 8 centimetres and our other 8 centimetres here, 8 centimetres and 8 centimetres, and we need to find the length of the arc. And then we can add up those three distances, and then that'll be the perimeter of the sector. So let's find the length of this arc. So we've got Vita, which is 14 degrees over 360. So that's 14 360ths of a full circle, multiplied by pi, multiplied by the diameter of the whole circle. So if you had the whole circle, the diameter of the whole circle would be 16. So multiply by 16. So then whenever we work this out, we get that's equal to 
we get that equal to 1.9547687762 and so on centimeters. So that means the length of this arc from here around to here would be 1.9547 and so on centimeters. And now let's find the perimeter of the sector. So we're going to do 8 plus 8 plus 1.9547 and so on. And that would be equal to 17.9547 and so on centimeters. And that's the perimeter of the sector. So just remember, whenever you find the perimeter of the sector, you need to find the length of the arc by using the formula V to over 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by the diameter of the whole circle. But then also, if it's the perimeter of the sector, to include the two radii as well. So make sure you're adding on the 8 and the 8. If the question just asks for the arc length, obviously you're just finding the arc length. Okay, let's have a look at one last question. So this time we've got a sector, and the radius of the sector is 10 centimeters. We've got the angle enclosed here is 20 degrees. And the question says, can you find the perimeter of this sector? So can you find the perimeter of the sector? So feel free to pause the video now and to try this question out yourself. Okay, so if I wanted to find the perimeter of this sector, I've got my 10 centimeters, I've got another 10 centimeters, and I want to find the length of this arc going around from here around to here. So let's find the length of this arc. So we're going to be using the formula V to over 360, multiplied by pi, multiplied by the diameter of the whole circle. So Vita, that's the angle, which is 20 degrees, divided by 360, so that's 20 360ths of a full circle, multiplied by pi, and multiplied by the diameter of the whole circle. So if we have this whole circle, the diameter of the whole circle would be 20 centimeters, so multiplied by 20. So we just need to work this out now. We get that equal to 3.4906585 and so on centimeters. So that means the length of the arc, this part, is 3.49065 and so on centimeters. And I asked you to find the perimeter of the sector, so it's going to be 10 plus 10, plus 3.4906 and so on, and that's equal to 23.4906 and so on. And let's just round around to two decimal places, that's 23.49 centimetres. And that's it, and I hope you got that right. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at how to find the circumference of a circle, pi times diameter. We've looked at how to find the perimeter of a semicircle. We've looked at how to find the perimeter of a quarter circle. And we've looked at how to find the length of an arc and to use that to find the perimeter of sectors. And that's it. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at the circumference. So circumference equals pi times diameter, or if you prefer, circumference equals 2 pi r, where you double the radius and then times by pi, which is the same as pi times diameter. So whichever version you prefer. And then we've also looked at the arc length. So that's vita over 360, the fraction of the circle, multiplied by pi times diameter. So in other words, you find the circumference, and then you just work out the fraction of the circle that you want the arc length for. And that's it. So I really hope you find this video useful. Those are two important formulae that you remember that circumference equals pi times diameter or circumference equals 2 pi r and also that the arc length is v to over 360 times by pi times by the diameter so remember those formulae if you've got the revision cards stick them up on your wall or get people to quiz you on these formulae to make sure that you remember them or make some make a get a sheet of paper of important formulae to remember and so on and also if you look at the description below there's the link to the practice questions so if you want to do a bit more practice on the circumference and arc length you can practice those questions as well so keep up the hard work, you're doing fantastically well. Just remember, obviously, to use the people around you. So, you know, if you've got friends and family who can maybe quiz you or test you on different things to remember as you're going through your revision, that'd be quite useful. Or you can just make a little quiz sheet for yourself and maybe get a friend or your parent to, to quiz you and to go through, you know, some of the important things you need to remember for your GCSE maths. So anyway, the next video is at three o'clock tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.